Hey guys, Reese Armin here. So today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, newest uh, series of the Pokeball Mega Bloks. Uh, I now have the whole set. I had two of them for a while and I wanted to uh, get the whole set before I did any reviewing on them. Uh, so we're going to start with the uh, simplest ones first. Uh, we have uh, Ekans. And uh, I look and like that they did uh, all joint pieces here, and I think I'm speaking way too loud, aren't I? Uh, sorry about that. I like that Eggs is made entirely of joint pieces. I just wish that the pieces were a little bit thicker. Uh, my sister mentioned that it seems too thin for Eggs, and I agree. Uh, because it's most noticeable when you see the head there. But uh, I do definitely appreciate that it is a... Uh, Uh, completely posable Ekans. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, you can easily do a non posable one and it would still look good, but this allows for a bit more playability. See, we've got Ekans uh, eye there, we have the open jaw. Uh, you can see there's a tongue piece there. And uh, not too much more you can say about Ekans. So. While I wish there was a bit thicker of pieces used, it, it is a good representation of Ekans, and uh, you can get get to rest on the Pokeball, though it does take a bit of work sometimes. Uh, Ekans is one of two that cannot at actually attach to the Pokeball in any way. The next simplest one is a uh, Geodude, who actually had a bit more complexity than I thought. There's actually a lot of pieces uh, going on inside there, uh, including a transparent piece for the uh, stand that will be there even when you take it off the stand. Uh, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> there we go. I accidentally pushed the, pushed the stand in all the way. <laughs> but you see we've got Geodude's face there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I had the back on correct. I think I do. Uh, we've got the fists here, which uh, are... I'm impressed with uh, how well designed it is. The fists were something they could have easily just done one single piece and been done with it. They actually... Uh, are made from a good amount of pieces to allow for a, a more accurate fist. So you've got the thumb and the fingers over here. And as you can see, you can move the arms up and down and uh, the hands forward and backwards. Uh, Next, we're going to take a look at Paris, which, uh, as far as looking like the Pokemon goes, Paris does a really good job. I am imp impressed with this one. Uh, just, uh, it's one of the ones I thought, how is this going to work? And then, you know what, it works beautifully. You've got the mushrooms there. Uh, it uses yellow pegs to allow for the yellow spore in the mushroom. And we've got the six legs, the front two being claws. And uh, you can move them. In fact, I think these claw pieces might be new pieces. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, certainly not in any set that I've had for Mega Bloks before. Uh, Paris is the other one that cannot actually attach to the Pokeball. It's got a completely round stomach, but it is shown just to rest on top in the instructions. Then we have Cubone, who uh, I think probably uh, is the uh, most work you're going to put into one of these. Uh, that's well, that's the Pokeball set, I mean. Uh, you've got uh, the spines and everything. There's a brand new piece for the head there. Like that that piece is very clearly for Cubone. There's th that shape would not be used for anything else. Uh, got the uh, cheekbones jutting out there 
Yeah, this is pretty standard for these guys. Got a fat little tummy there. Uh, I personally enjoy the fat tummies. Get the tail attached to the spikes. Uh, and uh, as a nice bonus, uh, and it's not something they had to put in at all, you do get Cubone's bone. Uh, you could easily just go without the bone there. It, it does, it's not required to breed as Cubone, but it's a nice touch and I appreciate it. Uh, Cubone also has a, a piece underneath that allows him to uh, stay attached to the Pokeball, uh, lift it up a little bit. Uh, probably a lesson they learned from... Uh, from a champ, uh, I mean Machop. Uh, there's the eyes, you've got the horns up here too, and it, it just reads as Cubone as soon as you see it. it so it, it works well. And th that's the important thing, these need to read as the Pokemon. They don't have to be the best things ever, they just need to be able to read as the Pokemon. And the next one I'm going to do is going to show that. <laughs> uh, because while I like uh, Rattata, uh, it kind of suffers a little bit from the same problem Eevee d did, where it's just a bit too much. Uh, so uh, the, it looks like they did figure out a new uh, way of doing the torso piece to uh, prevent the, the weird angles that Eevee ended up with. I, I can't remember if I reviewed Eevee or not. Uh, the main issue I have with Rata though is the ears. Uh, I just cannot find a way to make them look right. Uh, like, I can see what they're going for, and it's okay at certain angles, but when you're playing with the toy, you're going to see it face on and whatnot, so it's... <laughs> it's just one of those things that's going to happen. I do enjoy the tail. The tail is, uh... The way the tail is made is a nice touch. I enjoy that. Uh... Rata also has a soft piece that goes underneath the uh, headpiece there to make the whiskers. Uh, it's the same piece type of material that's used for like the uh, Batman capes in the Lego sets. So it's a nice touch. That could have easily just been done using a solid piece sticking out. It being actual soft piece is a nice touch. And then the final one and probably the one that looks the most like uh, what's supposed to. Meowth. Meowth, like Rattata, uses a soft piece for the uh, whiskers. And again, nice touch. Easily could have been done just using uh, pieces that already existed. I, I appreciate actually them actually making that a piece. You've got the ears here. Uh, you of course have the uh, charm, which uh, attached differently than I thought it was going to attach, actually. It's actually attached by a hook piece and a, and a peg on the charm. I thought it was going to be uh, a stud connecting it, <laughs> but the hook piece allows it to be at an angle. And it, it just really works out well. Got the tail here, uh, made pretty much the same way as Rattata, so there's one extra piece added to allow for a different coloration there. Uh, and of course we had the big happy meow smile, uh, and uh, posable arms and everything. And we do have the uh, two-toned feet. Uh, Meowth's uh, feet pieces uh, are designed so that uh, the back part will fit into uh, the holes on the Pokeball uh, to make it a bit more secure. Uh, out of these, I think Meowth and uh, Paris were probably the ones that surprised me most at how well they turned out. I think Cubone was my favorite to build, and uh, uh, I love all of these, but if you're going to go for them, I'd say go for Meowth, Paris, and Cubone uh, if you don't want the whole set. Those are the three I would recommend first.
Uh, so now I just need to find uh, the bigger sets for Series 2, and hopefully I can find them for a reasonable price, because they are expensive. Uh, there are two big sets I'm aware of. One is Blastoise, which I definitely need. Blastoise was my first starter ever. And uh, a Volcano set, which has uh, Diglett, Krabby, Pikachu, and Growlithe in it. Uh, but uh, I love these... Uh, Again, Cubone, definitely my favorite to build, just with how complex it turned out. And, uh... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time, wherever you may be. Bye, guys!